Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Royal Beach, South Carolina. And um, I was checking out this 2015 Chevy Trax LT in a really cool looking orange color. Now this is kind of like a small crossover car, I guess you can say. Um, that's just, it just has a neat look to it and it's very comfortable in the inside. There's lots of room and um, I like these style of vehicles. Uh, they're small but yet roomy and they get good gas mileage and um, you know it has a has a good look to it too and it stands out. I mean the color is not too bright but it is um, is one of them colors that will stand out. It is considered an orange but, um, but anyways let's take a look at it. This one has the uh, halogen headlights here in the front. No fog lights on this particular model. But uh, this vehicle is powered by a 1.4 liter um, Ecotec turbo engine. So uh, has a little bit of a little bit of um, small displacement, but it's kind of made up with the the turbo um, alongside it. Now it does have a six-speed automatic transmission. And I'm going to list all the, the specs and everything in the uh, description of this vehicle um, so you can kind of know more about it. So this is kind of like a, um, you know, a simple design and it's all black on the inside. Now you've got your pockets here in the door, you know, kind of like a two-tier system there. Your door lock controls, power window controls. This one has the tracks. Um, slush mats in there they were probably added by the dealer i'm not really sure but it does have some mats underneath so that's almost that's why i'm assuming that you got the black cloth seats a little bit of a kind of like a futuristic design there like a tron design or something it does have some stitching and uh got a little storage pocket there with some connectivity options you've got auxiliary input and a usb port there glove compartment pretty good size too place to put a pin over here too uh, like that always need your pen especially if you're running a business or you're in business so you got a pretty good amount of cup holders there for the front and rear pack passengers it's got some gloss trimming going on with some gray trimming interesting thing right here um, sure does look like a perfect spot that just kind of sets your set your uh, your cell phone I don't have my cell phone with me now or I'd, I'd try it out but you got one on each side and you can kind of get in and set your cell phone there and it's it's visible in case uh, you need to attend to a call too. So here's the inside of the back door. You got the same kind of pocket two-tiered design and a uh, window control. Now you can see it's got a decent amount of legroom back here and massive amounts of headroom. So and I'm seeing this little strap here so I'm going to pull that and this goes forward, lifts forward, and I'm assuming that this seat will fold down, and it does. So, um, so I guess you can, you've got some options there as far as folding the seats down if you need some more cargo space. That's pretty neat. You got a net pocket there. Let's see what this does cup holders and armrest now this one's got the uh, some alloy wheels um, 16 inch alloy wheels and continental tires here's what the back looks like now they say a lot of people you know some people you know focus on the front of the car or the back of the car in different styling so um, this one has a very very simple design. There's no trailer hitch, there's no sensors. Uh, there is a backup camera though, which is very handy. Kind of don't need the sensors if you got a backup camera. So here's the back of the vehicle. And um, let's see what's here. That probably has something to do with tools or something. I don't wanna, it's not, it's not easy to pull out so it must be just for um, you know emergencies or something you've got a pocket there and then you got this floor and this lifts up and you've got a compact spare tire under here and some storage space around it and I like the way this lifts up out of your way 
it kind of keeps people from kind of seeing your junk in the back junk in the trunk um, but if you got some stuff back here let's say you're your Christmas shopping or whatever and you don't want people to see that you just got a computer or some expensive item in there when you close it down um, you can't just look in there and kind of see what's in there so that's pretty cool do have a little tiny rear windshield wiper which is neat same thing on this side and you can see that I mean the legroom is, is substantial on this this little car so here's the inside of the driver's door you got the little joystick control for the side mirrors power window controls door lock controls and the two-tier storage system there you do have a got like a main uh, power here I think that's for the yeah that's for the lumbar support and the rest is manual so um, let me go ahead and put the seat back a little bit more let me put it all the way back so we can look at the leg room again yeah still not too bad I mean in it's a lot, a lot better than a lot of them so here you have an automatic headlight system and uh, there's your dimmer switch And the seats kind of prop you up with a good firm back support i really like that so and you know i'm like the seats all the way back and it's really far back so i mean i've got plenty of room and i kind of you know if i was driving right now i'd probably pull the seat up a little bit more and i'm about six feet tall and you know pretty good size man but um steering wheel has like a little grip there and has little dimples in it which is looks pretty sporty and it's kind of comfortable too it's pretty quiet in here so let me go ahead and do the switchblade key and uh, start it up Let's see what it looks like here well, it looks like the screens a little dim so maybe oh yeah it just has to start up it's, got a, it's like a computer, I guess, that has a startup. This vehicle is in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. All right, so um, very simple, awesome. I like simple. <laughs> and this is very simple. It has a good uh, readout, a good kind of like a digital readout there with your miles per hour and your... Uh, it does have a regular... Um, uh, tachometer showing your RPMs and uh, your, your gas gauge is right there in the middle front and center and uh, your compass it has a lot of features there but it's very simple looking I mean it's just a, kind of a small gauge there and simple and very easy to read steering wheel back to the steering wheel now you do have the volume button here you can switch to the tracks and stuff there and um, you, it does have Bluetooth and you does have a voice recognition system as well Cruise control, you can turn that on and off. You can cancel it here. You can, you know, go forward or backwards as far as your speed, uh, up or down. W rear windshield wipers are there. And um, and right here, you have your, your turn signal and your headlights and stuff. And a menu system. So I'm going to push the menu button and kind of toggle, see what it shows. So oil life, it's just kind of showing your oil life. And um, kind of go through there scroll through this this right here so we can kind of see what's going on this is kind of unit set language set tire learn and that I'm gonna push menu again it goes back to the default so that's all that does um, let's see what this is little storage pocket I'm not really sure if what people use these a lot of cars have these little storage container up on the dash if you know what they use them, people use them for, let me know, because I don't really know what you would like want to put up there on the dash. And the, you know, I mean, if you put something in there, dashes get very hot in the sun. So I mean, it's got to be you know, be able to resist like I don't know. I mean, close to 200 degree temperatures possibly. So I'm not sure what you'd actually use that for. But anyway, um, it does have it. Let me know if you know what that's for, because I mean. 
and it's kind of hard to reach where you're driving or something I'm not really sure what that's for it's more convenient to have stuff here or maybe here but up there just I just don't get it maybe you can let me know so let's go check out this screen here so right now uh oh I just put oh so you don't even actually have to push it you just put your finger there okay so I just put my finger there let me do it again try a different finger Okay, I guess you get arrested there for a sec. Let me turn the volume down. So these are kind of just touch screen feel type, type buttons. Let me hit the home button so we can see what the... Alright, so we got audio, picture, and movie, telephone, smart link, smart photo link, and settings. So, um, so let's get a picture and movie. Device not found. So apparently you can plug in something in the, in the, the SD card place over here or no that has a auxiliary and a USB so I guess you can plug something in there and see a picture of a movie I wonder if you can do it while you're driving probably not um, audio uh, has a radio and it has satellite radio so right now it's on 80s on 8 and uh, let's go back uh, telephone once you pair it It'll have all your stuff there, but it's asking me to pair it now, and I don't want to pair anything, so. Um, smartphone link. Um, I'm assuming that means, yeah, Pandora and different, um, you know, apps that's on your cell phone. Kind of links to that, which is pretty cool. And, of course, you got settings. Let's just see what's in there. Radio settings, vehicle settings. All right. Pretty neat little screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse. And see what the backup camera looks like okay pretty cool that's pretty clear screen put it back in the park and that stays for a second apparently so down here you got a traction control your four-way flashers you can turn your passenger airbag I don't know if you can turn it on or it just tells you that it's on or off depending on if somebody's sitting in the seat apparently so down here your your temperature and your air conditioning, your uh, recirculation button, and where you want the air to blow, and the fan speed. Power supply down here. Not sure what these little places here are for. I wonder, let me know what they're for if you know. There's a storage pocket down there. Now, in addition to the automatic transmission, you also have a gear selector here on the side, plus and minus cup holders, emergency brake, old-fashioned emergency brake, I like that. Up here you've got a voice recognition, OnStar, SOS button, you got some tap lights, you can um, block out the, uh, you got lights there, and kind of looks like right there you can, not really sure what that's for, but anyway, I think, oh that's for the door, yeah, so if you don't want the lights to come on with the door, um, then you would just uh, just turn that off like that. All right, let's look at the visors. Mirrors, no lights. Same thing on that side. All right, let's get a little, see what it looks like out there. But yeah, very comfortable seats, good back support. Man, I wish I had this seat uh, sitting in front of my computer and be very comfortable. So let's take a look at this little turbo engine that's underneath the hood. Let's save gas while we're doing it. All right, let's feel in there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Let me put the key in my pocket and try the other hand. There we go. Now it does have a prop. There's a little Ecotech engine. And there's the turbo up there. Somewhere, where's the turbo at? It's got one somewhere. Yeah, I think it's linked in there. There was a turbo. There's your battery. Everything's easy to see. And um, it's 
pretty neat pretty neat little car and uh, so you got to check one out for yourself Alright, so uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to find out the answers for you. And if you can uh, like and subscribe, share with a friend, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.